I connected with my high school sweetheart about two years ago. I reconnected with him. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a long distance relationship, not something I prefer, but because he was my ideal guy, I was really, really willing to make it work. Mm -hmm. Everything was going really great. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, he drops a bomb on me. He doesn't want to be married, nor does he want to have kids. And those are things that are very important to me. Okay. So I broke up with him, of course. Okay. Fast forward a year later, he now has a child. Yes. Now has a child. And all of a sudden, he's now trying to reconnect with me because now he wants kids and he wants to be married. So my question is, do I give him a second shot because he's my high school sweetheart or do I overlook... <laughs> The question was for Steve. Huh? So my question is, do I give him a shot or do I just leave him where he was? Okay, wait a minute. Okay, let, 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 let me just feed this back to you. Okay. Okay, you reconnect with your high school sweetheart. Yes. Which means y'all done broke up one time. Yes. Y'all got together, y'all dating for how long? About a year or so. About a year. Then he tells you he don't want to be married and he don't want no kids. Correct. So you break up with him again. Yes. A year later, he has a baby with another girl. Yes. Now he back at you. He want to get back together because now he want some more kids and to get married. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. I don't even understand why you're here. <laughs> let, 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 let. I had a woman on my show, Judge Lynn Toller. You know what she told me? The best advice I ever heard. She said her grandmother told her, don't let a man have to tell you twice he don't want you. <laughs> You've already been his ex twice. Yeah. Now, he told you the truth. That was the truth. You can't get mad at the dude. Yeah. He didn't want to marry you. He didn't want to have no baby with you. The reason he told you that, because he was seeing someone else. <laughs> and the person he was seeing, he done got her pregnant. And this ain't no coincidence. Mm. You don't stop seeing nobody, and then one year, here come a baby. <laughs> what? No, dog, that ain't how the game work. Come on. We can read through this. So this is not the guy for you. I don't think he is. You're attractive. You look. You seem like you're really smart. You know, you got crazy name, but you know, <laughs> people can learn how to pronounce that. <laughs> but you, you can find somebody else. Can I ask you how old you are? Or you don't. Want... I'm 35. You 35? <laughs> oh. I thought you was about 25, 26 years old. I'll take it. Old. I'll take it. Oh, you're fine. Oh, you tripping. What? You ain't, you ain't got to put up with this. You finna run into some baby mama drama. Yeah. And you don't even need that. Thank you. Move on with your life. Yeah. I'm bringing you on the show. Yeah. Where you live? Five miles from here. Five miles from here. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna bring three dudes on the show that's between 35 and 45. What you looking for in a man? Um, he has to... Let me tell you what you are looking for. <laughs> you looking, you looking for somebody that's honest, respectful, courteous, loving, Strong, yes. has a plan, yes. God fearing, yes. and would love to have a family. Yes. Ain't that right? Yes. That's what you're looking for? You hit the nail on the head. I'm gonna help you find that. Please welcome Nigella back to the show. <laughs> hey, Nigella, what's happening? I'm wonderful. How are you? Told you I'd help you out. I appreciate it so much. But before I find you the right guy, I think I need to teach you something that I believe a lot of women need to learn. And that's how to actually identify the right guy and stop dating the same type of guy over and over and over. <laughs> so today, I'm gonna help you to stop dating the usual suspects. Okay. 
Okay. What type of men do you usually find yourself dating? For some reason, I typically attract the emotionally unavailable, narcissistic, so into themselves. Now, I don't pick them out of a lineup, say, you, hey, the emotionally unavailable, come here. <laughs> I don't do that, but somehow that's what I end up dating. The entertainers, the athletes, the, you know, the executives, they, they listen, they come in all shapes and sizes and forms, yes? So, that's what... Okay, let me ask you something. Why do you think that is? When I envision who I want in a mate, I envision a power couple. However, power tends to come along with some other things that are not so desirable, at least for me. And so, the, it's just, I can't get the best of both worlds in one, one guy. You attract what you put out. If you think all men are dogs, here they come. Here they come. You're going to meet every last one of them. So, in your looking for this man who is powerful, well, guess what? In order to become powerful, in order to really, really make it, you're gonna have to have an amazing amount of confidence in yourself. And so, when you see the athlete or the entertainer, you go, wow, look what I just found. <laughs> and guess what? Yes, you did. Yeah. So here comes the emotionally unavailable and ain't no room for you. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So, here's what I did. I sent my buddy Najla on a speed dating challenge with five guys. One of them is a good guy that she should want a second date with. All the others are some usual suspects that she tends to date. So you ladies know who they are. The narcissist, the mama's boy, the emotionally unavailable guy, the player. Let's see how it went when I sent her on this little deal here. The usual suspects. Let's get right to this. Okay. What is your ideal date? I like taking girls out to a bar, you know, getting loose, having a good time, just, just having fun, okay. you know what I mean? So what's your idea of getting loose? Have some drinks, you know, okay. just have a good time. So Great. you're not you're not a guy that's afraid of being in an intimate space? No. Okay. I thrive in an intimate you space. You thrive in, that? okay. Yeah, yeah. You're absolutely beautiful. And if I didn't have a rule on not kissing on the first date, <laughs> I'd, I'd definitely change that, okay. you know what I mean? Are you ready for a relationship? Yes, and... Okay, I see yeah. some hesitation there. What, what's the hesitation about? I have trust issues. You have trust? There's, there's what kind of trust issues I, do you man, have? Man, I've been in like, like with crazy relationships, and like I attract like stalkers and crazy and people who break my heart. I'm scared to like give a person my all. You know what okay. I mean? I'm not a stalker, but just so Are you know, sure? I'm. Listen, <laughs> how do you handle conflict? I like to talk it out right away. It's not about pointing the finger or pointing blame no, or anything I'm, like that? The big picture is the relationship. Whatever we need to do to make that work, okay. we, we do that. What is your take on public display of affection? If I am in a relationship that I'm happy in and I want to be affectionate to my partner, then I would like to be affectionate to her wherever we are. What is the most important thing for you in a relationship? When I when I get off work, I like to come home with a nice cook, home cooked meal and okay. stuff like that. You know, uh, being Ashley, from the south, I can understand yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you know. Also, like you know, when my lady wears you know like lingerie, like nice sexy things, just for okay. me. You know, now, do you buy this lingerie for her? <laughs> I got anything she needs. Okay. Know. All right. Okay. You know, <laughs> you know if we got kids. I want you to stay at the house, just raise the kids, and okay. you know, do everything. You don't want me running around barefoot and pregnant, do you? No, you ain't gotta be barefoot, you know, but you can put some socks <laughs> on. Put some socks on you and put be some socks on. Okay. Flip flops. So okay. Whatever, get the job done. Well, let me ask you: If I came to the table mm -hmm. with my own career, yeah. you would expect me to? If you see my bank account, she would be like, Nah. Okay. Good. Okay. What does your relationship uh, what look like with your family? I think family is really important. I have a great mm -hmm. relationship with my mom. She's one of my best friends. Okay. I ask her for advice a lot. Is she always yeah. interested in your dating life? Yeah, I mean, what mom? What mom isn't, you know? If mom doesn't approve or give blessing, does that mean that the new girlfriend is 86 out? I'd like to have her blessing. But what if you didn't? Would you still pursue that relationship? Probably not. Well, I've had a really amazing time. I've gotten to meet some really great people such as yourself, so we'll see. What we're gonna do is we're gonna find out who did she pick?
to go out with. I think it's time to meet the guys. Let's line them up. Okay, uh, guys, welcome to the show. Now, listen to this. Uh, when you hear your number, step forward. Number three, step forward. <laughs> number four, step forward. Okay, tell us why you picked number three. I picked number three because he, he clearly... <laughs> he clearly communicated every single question that I asked. He was very straightforward in his answers. Uh, and I'm looking for a communicator. Even if you don't know the right words, look me straight in my eyes and give me your best answer. And he mm -hmm. did just that. So... Why did you pick number four? Number four. I love number four. And probably one of the biggest reasons, he's from the South. And he just had that, he was a comedian, quite frankly. And he made me laugh. And I like that and I appreciate that about him. All right, uh, there's something that you don't know. Okay. All of these guys in front of you are actors. <laughs> I hired these guys. And I asked them to each play a part to see if you would pick your usual suspects or if you would go for the one good guy that I planted in here. You said that you usually date emotionally unavailable men and narcissistic men. So now that you know that, number four, please reveal what type of guy you were playing. <laughs> I mean, you, and you went right for it. I know. That's why I had to do it this way, because you got to see what you're doing. And he played his role pr really well, you know. Yeah. All right, number three, uh, reveal what type of guy you were playing. Nigel, yes. what, what do you think of that? That somewhere in here, I do know a good guy when I see him. Regardless of what physically I want to see or the moment in which I am, that somewhere deep in here, I do know. My moral compass is exactly. on. Exactly right. <laughs> Here's the other interesting part. Let's see who you didn't pick. Guys, reveal which guy you were playing. Player, mama's boy. Got that. Emotionally unavailable. See? You knew, right? Yes. Okay, so now, here's, here's my advice to you, because you are right. You have it in you. It's because of the way you were raised. You know what it is. But there is a part of you that keeps going down that path, because I think there's a nurturing side of you that thinks you can fix a man. Y'all stop being in the fix a man business. <laughs> what I say to women is, you're not going to meet a man that's everything you've ever dreamed of and wanted in the want category. It's something wrong with every last one of us. But what you cannot do is pick the ones where there's something wrong in the major category. Mm -hmm. But if you can get him with some simple things, his hair cut, his shoes ain't right, you know, you can tweak all of that. Now, hold on. This is real. Number four came to the producers, and he had something he wanted to say to you. Uh, my name is Antrell Terry. Um, I know yesterday I was acting and just doing my role or whatnot, but um, I would love to take you on a date and just show you some good <laughs> Southern hospitality. 
What do you think about going out with him? I don't see anything wrong with a, a simple date, coffee, lunch, that I'm, I'm okay. Daytime. I'm open to... Daytime. Yes, daytime. I don't know him like yeah. that, Steve. Here's what I'm gonna do. Let us know how it goes with Antrell. Now that she knows at least how to find, pick a good guy is in her, and he was just acting. He may be a really good guy. Okay. But he was acting the other day. All right? So let's do it. Good luck to both of you. Let's see how it works out. We'll be right back, y'all. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.